We continue our march through the individual income tax calculation. We are now to step four, exemptions. However, as I have mentioned a couple times, the deduction for personal exemptions is gone. This should be quick. First, let's remind ourselves again of the overview computation. We are focused on step four in this video. The personal exemption was a deduction that was available to the taxpayer, spouse if filing jointly, and dependents. Like the standard deduction, historically the amount was adjusted for inflation each year. Let's look at an example, but primarily to see how the replacement of the exemption with a greater standard deduction plays out. Yan is married and has three kids, thus five exemptions. Each exemption was worth $4,050 in 2017. Thus, the total exemption deduction would be $20,250. In addition, if Yan took the standard deduction of $12,700, the total deduction would be $32,950. Obviously, that compares negatively to the $24,000 standard deduction and no exemptions now in place. That is partially made up by the lower rates that we have seen and a, a greater child tax credit, which we haven't seen. Exemptions rely on the definition of a dependent, and even though exemptions are gone now, the dependent as a tax construct remains important. The qualification as a dependent still matters with respect to head of household filing status and also plays a part in the child tax credit, the earned income credit, and some other tax issues. As a result, we need to go through the definition. It starts with there are two ways to qualify as a dependent, either as a qualifying child or as a qualifying relative. To begin with, amazingly, you do not have to be a child of the taxpayer to be a qualifying child. And even more impressively, you do not have to be a relative of the taxpayer to be a qualifying relative. Here are the requirements to be a qualifying child. Take a moment to read them. You must meet all of the requirements to qualify. Take a moment to read the qualifications for a qualifying relative. At times, a taxpayer will take care of another individual that is not a close relative, that is, where the qualified relative comes into play. The term relative is used because it often is a relative, but is not required to be so. A couple of important notes. The qualifying individual may not have income in excess of the personal exemption amount, which was 4,050 in 2017, and it was expected to be 4,150 in 2018. We're waiting for the IRS to release new exemption amounts. Another important caveat is that a parent can be a qualifying relative and not live with a taxpayer. Going forward, the definition of a dependent remains important while the exemption itself fades into tax history. And so does this video. Thanks for watching.